hello guys this video tutorial is related to performing exploratory factor analysis through smart or through spss okay so first of all i have to check how many variables are there in my model so you can see that one two three four and five all right i i also counted my dependent variable as well so there are five variables in the model including my dependent and independent variables so to perform the analysis or to perform a exploratory fact analysis first you have to click on analyze and then you have to click on dimension reduction and then click on factor what you have to do is you have to select all the variable items so i'm just selecting all the variable items and now keeping it in this variable section by clicking on this then you have to click on extract descriptives and then you have to place a check on this km and bartley scarcity you have to click on continue you have to click on extraction and you have to click on fixed number of factors so there are five factors so i'm just putting five over here then click on continue you and you have to click on rotation here you have to click on very mix and that's it you have to click on options and then click it over here and put the value as 0.5 zeros so this value actually uh, tells or you can say that this value is um, helps you in showing the showing the values in the table that are actually above 0.5 if you will not keep it like 0 0.50 you can see the values that are below 0 0.50 however it was recommended that the outer loadings or the factor loading should be above than 0.5 at least okay continue and then press okay okay now you can see that that the value of kmo that should be greater than 0.7 is actually greater than 0.7 and it is significant as well however you have to see the table of rotated component i'm just clicking it over here you can see the table over here if you see the table uh, i'm just copying it so to show you the exact information in the excel format so you see it over here that sn items are loaded in the same cell so that's great si items are also loaded in the same cell that's also great again c items are loaded in the same cells however you can see that c6 is not loaded anywhere it means that its value is below 0 0.50 as we have kept the value 0 0.50 in the absolute value okay so it's a it's a it's an issue you can now see that d1 till d4 items are loaded in the same cell however d5 item is actually loaded with pi items so there are two items that are actually creating trouble so you have to adjust those items so what you have to do is you have to again click on analyze and then click on dimension reduction and then click again on factors so first you have to delete one item so maybe it will uh, helps you in in adjusting the other item so i'm just deleting c6 first to check whether it helps you in uh, adjusting the item of d uh, now rotated component camo value is actually fine and again i'm checking the value of rotated component so you can see that uh, all the values are fine however d5 is still loaded with pi so what you have to do is you have to again delete this item okay i have to delete d5 as well okay km is fine and it's significant as well however my rotated component matrix is actually now fully fine as all the items are actually loaded with the with their own cell or you can say that in their own cell so what you have to do is you have to save the results so basically the process of performing exploratory factor analysis is that all the items should be loaded in its own cell you can see that sn items are loaded with each other and there are no cross loadings as well uh, so i hope this video will help you in performing your uh, exploratory fact analysis thank you so much